Today's video, we are talking about tightening the valves on a mini torch when they get loose. Gave me problems in the beginning, so I'm just giving you guys a few tips and tricks. Ayo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Potter with Grandmaster Glass, your home for glass blowing. Today, talking about the mini torch, and when the little controls get loose, it makes the flame go out. And when I was first blowing glass, I saw another artist, I can't remember who, they put on their story how to tighten them, how to loosen the valves and tighten them up. And I'm gonna show you guys, cause that was a huge help for me when I was first starting out using a mini torch. But before we get going, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and smashing the subscribe. We are trying to grow the channel. We're gonna to get to a thousand by the end of the year. I know we can do it. We're about to hit 400. Super awesome, very thankful. Got the Instagram community, trying to bring it over onto the YouTube community. So let's flip this around and talk about the mini torch. So I do have a video from about maybe a year and a half, two years ago when I first got the mini torch. But if you haven't seen that video, you don't know what it is. Little rundown, mini torch, propane, oxygen, mini little nozzle, very, very small flame so you can get into tight little areas and polish welds, do all kinds of things, very versatile to get in with the mini torch. But what happens is over time, these become loose. And so if your finger barely touches them, it'll cause a fluctuation of the valve and it makes the flame go out. So all that you do is you take the top little cover you keep backing it out now you don't need you need to have the oxygen and the propane off completely to do this because it'll start letting out pressure but you back it out far enough where you can get a wrench inside of here and you tighten it what causes the the pressure variation is this seal this this little seal right there to become loose and it causes variation and causes the flame to go out so the fact that you're able to back them out all the way like i just showed you and tighten that up with a wrench i thought that was a just really cool it's not it's something i didn't know oh, propane's on something that i didn't know that you could do and so it the, the little cap covers it but you can get in there tighten it up and then your torch is running, your mini torch is running good as new. And yeah, just having knowledge because it wasn't explained to me in the instructions. There wasn't much instructions with the torch. It's like, here's a torch, use it. So having somewhere to reference and having knowledge, having a knowledge base to improve, not even like knowing how to do something like skill wise. This is just mechanical knowing how a mini torch works not even showing you a like a, a glass move or maneuver or something like that so all in all i just thought this was a helpful video to put on youtube super simple and it improved you know quality of life by a lot for me so i was glad when i found out that information staying consistent with the videos with you guys just trying to make a video every day or you know just stay as consistent as i can and putting them out there because I have big goals, big dreams, and starting with these YouTube videos, sharing with you guys, bringing y'all into the journey, whether you are a glass artist or you just like glass art, watching videos, learning about things, improves the community, improves all aspects of life. You have insight to something that you don't do every day, and I get to share it with you guys. I think it's a win-win it's a process. But other than that, guys, I hope you're enjoying the videos gonna get going here on the torch today got a couple things working in the background and uh, you'll be seeing that soon got the battle station computer station all set up on that side and yeah like I said staying consistent with the videos just trying to talk to you guys talk to the camera but weekly glass market watches that's coming back I'm gonna start calling them weekly glass recaps I'm gonna try to make them a little bit more relaxed consistent do them once a week put them out there I'm gonna be looking for a sponsor for the series. I'm gonna do my kind of how-tos and vlogs, but then with the actual market watches, I'm gonna be looking for a real sponsor, whether it's a shop, a product, a website, uh, just someone to sponsor the series because I think it's got huge potential. 
there uh, there isn't a lot of glass on YouTube. So I think we'll see where it goes. I might make a separate video right after this talking about it. But I know today is Friday and I'm going to be recording one. This is going to be my first video back and I'm going to try to do them every Friday. So yeah, try to do my how-to videos every day when I come in here. Just whenever I find a good video or a good thing to share with you guys. So stay up to date. Please consider smashing that like button. Hit the subscribe. But most importantly, remember, never stop evolving.